Hello, my name is Casey, and welcome to my instructional video on how to use a library database. For today's video, we will focus on using Libby, an online database and app that gives you access to ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines to read on your smart devices. This video is titled First Time Libby User? No Problem. This video will teach you how to borrow books on Libby and access them on your smart device. If you are a Lubbock resident, you can access Libby through the City of Lubbock Library website by clicking on the Electronic Resources tab and scrolling down to find Libby. Once you click on the link, you are taken to the Libby homepage where you will need to sign in with your library card and PIN. I have already done so, but you will see the prompt pop up in the right side of your window. Once you sign in, you can use these tabs along the top to find books. Click on a tab and it will take you to the results page. Scroll down to find a book that you want and you will see options along the side, such as place hold, play sample for an audiobook, and tag, or borrow, read sample for a regular ebook, and tag. Now, if you want to place a hold on a book, go ahead and click on place hold. At the bottom of your screen, you will see how long before you will be able to access the book. On this confirmation screen, if you still want to place your hold, then click on the red button, place hold. If you find a book and it is available to be borrowed, then you can click on the borrow button. You will again be taken to the confirmation screen where you can once again, press the red button borrow and borrow the book. This may, brings the book to your shelf, so you can click on go to shelf and you will see all the books that you have borrowed and that are available to you now. Now this is what it looks like online. The app does look similar. It does have this bar at the bottom. Once you download the Libby app, go ahead and log in with your library card number and PIN number. Once you have done so, you can access the books in your library by clicking on this button here. It will take you to your library. If you want to search for books on the app, click on the magnifying glass and it will take you to these filters. And again, you can click on a filter and it'll take you to the results page. When you are in your shelf, you can go ahead and click read with if you want to read on your Kindle, or you can keep it to the Libby app. If you keep it to the Libby app, this is what it looks like. And it will take some time to load. You can click through the book as you are reading it. and you can swipe through on the app on your phone. This is how you use Libby to access eBooks, audiobooks, and magazines on your smart devices. Thank you for joining me for this instructional video and have a nice day.